Hello? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, so, good evening and welcome to the discovery call. And yeah, first of all, we'd like to thank you for booking a discovery call with us. And my name is Abiola, by the way. Um, and you are Chris. Abiola? You are Chris, Abuela? Right? Abiola. Abiola? Yeah. Okay, what's the origin of that name? Nigerian. Okay, I'm Nigeria as well. What part of Nigeria are you? Are you there now? Um, no, I mean Ghana. Oh, you're in Ghana. Yeah. Okay. Are you Igbo? You're Igbo. My name is Nigerian, but I'm not Nigerian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you're from Nigeria. Yeah. Which Igbo state. Igbo state. Oh, okay. And you're currently in Nigeria, or? No, I'm in the U.S. I'm in the states. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So just uh, go ahead and let me let me get the whole spill. Um, I saw your I saw a link to your company on Reddit, and so I just wanted to it kind of it's in line with some services I need done. I'm too. I'm I'm a software engineer. Uh, I work for both. I work for a few companies. Um, I don't have enough bandwidth myself to kind of get these projects done on the side. And so uh, I have a developer uh, who assists me with some stuff. He's based in India, um, but he's he's overloaded. I, I, have, I have him on too much stuff, so I need some more some more work getting done. So I'm trying to find the right partner to assist, uh, or well, an additional partner to assist. Because I already have, you know, he helps me out, but I, I need some more assistance because I have so many projects that I'm working on or, or, or assisting on right, that needs attention so, and I just I don't have enough bandwidth so I want to see if this is something that will, will work out so just go ahead and go ahead and give me your whole your whole pitch okay sure um, um, I have on the call uh, my partner Duke and he'll take you through um, the pitch all right um, yeah so Duke um, if you can't hear me <clears throat> Can't take it from here. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Yeah, so um good um evening, afternoon. Oh, what time is over there? It's morning um, for me. What? It's morning, it's morning for you. Yeah. yeah. What state are you based in right now? Texas. Oh, Texas. That's me. Um, yeah, so for Abiola and I, we're based in Ghana. Okay. Yeah. So let me take you to Studio IX a little bit. Um, what we do is we're an agency, a digital creative agency. Basically, what we do is we work with our clients, people like you, um, that is software developers, Indie hackers, uh, startup founders, yeah, small yeah. and medium enterprise businesses. Yeah, so we and our team, <laughs> we work with you and we help you to build, build out your product, your products, your projects, and stuff like that. So anything that you need help in in terms of design and development, we can okay. help you with that. I like that term you said, indie hacker, um, because I, I'm actually. I won't say a part of the community, but I've I've, I've been to the Indie Hacker website and uh, I've always followed that in their Reddit thread. And I am I consider myself an Indie Hacker, so that's interesting you say that. So go, so you already piqued my interest. So go ahead and continue. Yeah. So from there, I wanted to ask you: Are you like a freelancer or a contractor of sorts? I work for two companies. Um, as an employee, and I do contract as well, so that's where my my time is primarily. But on the side, I have my own consulting company 
that takes on work, which my Indian developer assists me with. Like I said, that's why I said we we're all short on time. But the goal is, and I, so I have two projects where I'm eyeing where I need partners for or assistance with. I have two projects that I need to get built. So before I go into that, tell me more about you know, this team you guys will help people with. You said you guys have this creative and development. So is that UI, UX, designers, and front-end developers, and back-end engineers? Yeah, so right now there's about six of us. Um, three so of us are on the development. Okay. Come again? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. You, you, you're saying it's a three, yeah, three so back-end? Back Yeah, so three of us are on the development side, three are also on the design side. Um, I'd oh. say we all have a design eye. We all have okay. um, expertise with Figma and Adobe XD and stuff. But for development, um, we do mostly full stack. We can do front end, we can do back end. We've recently gone into um, generative AI development, you know, creating things like chat GPT and stuff like that. So yeah, we yeah, can help out. Yeah, yeah, I know the LLMs and all that, or they, and how to build all that. Do y'all, are y'all just using the uh, the GPT API or you guys can use like open source LLMs from like Hugging Face or something? Yeah, open source LLMs, we've been using them. Lime thing with Python, it's pretty nice. So yeah, you can do that as well. Nice, nice. So you, did you, you cut off for a second, you, you said back end using Python? Yeah, with the, the line chain. chain. I don't yeah, know if you've heard of it. That's like yeah, I've heard of line chain. It's connecting. It's connecting all that together. Yeah, I'm a Python engineer. Yeah, so definitely. So yeah, we have experience with Python. We either use JavaScript or Python on the back end. So okay. Um, JavaScript. If I would work with y'all, if I would work with y'all, I would want Python back end 100. So front end, uh, which was front end? Yeah. So for the front end. Uh, mostly the man stack. Did you say so, me? No man. React. Oh, oh React. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we do Django as well, of course, with Python. Okay. Listen, you guys are man. When I tell you right now, you you're telling me everything I want to hear. So I'm, I'm trying to find a reason to not to go with you guys now. So can can you show me? anything um i've seen some stuff on your website like there was like that uh mobile card reader company and stuff on your website is there anything did you demo for me live on the call um okay let me see and I it, it also, it just show, as you're showing that so like when if, if i was getting to work with you guys <clears throat> I would provide you guys a repo, a private repo for you guys to work out of. And then you will sign our contracts and everything. And obviously proprietarily, I, you know, my company owns everything that's developed and you guys will be just um, paid monthly as long as we uh, keep the, the, the work going. Is that how that works? Yeah, definitely. And okay, so for full development, and I wanted a full team of back end and front end to get these things built out. Um, that price I saw was what was it again? For monthly? That was eight hundred. How much? Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Okay. Yeah. And I get a full team. And 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 how many hours per week does that does that give me? A, you know, if I like, can I get an MVP of something built in a month? Um, I mean, I'm obviously it's going to be ongoing development, you know, as we go, uh, software never ends. It's a very iterative process. There's always going to be new features, new things, but, um, like the initial proof of concept built out in a month or something that, you know, can be put out there to gain some feedback and then iterate on and all that. Like how, how many hours, I don't know how many clients you guys are dealing with. Like how many hours per week can you commit to per client or per or to me or whatever, how, or however that works. Yeah. So, um, the way it works is basically like a request based or ticket based thing. So you as the client, you will give us requests on the things that you want, what you'd want to develop, what you want sort of, 
edited or changed or designed. Then okay. we work on that, um, as a team, mm-hmm. bit by bit. Then you basically have us for the entire month. Yep. So our turnaround is pretty quick. We like to communicate with our clients back to back. So um, things shouldn't take too long for us. Mm-hmm. Payment is also bi-weekly. So like at the end of every two weeks, <clears throat> it's more like a two week sprint. Yeah. Then after the end of the two weeks, we do like a review. Is mm-hmm. the client happy? Have we been able to give you what you want? And, you know, we continue from there. So it's yeah. pretty flexible. That's perfect. Sounds great. Okay. Um, what's the communication method? <laughs> communication method, we prefer WhatsApp. Okay. So yeah. a chat group in WhatsApp. Um, what about project management board, like a Jira board or something, or for the tickets? What are we boarding yeah, you guys? Yeah, for that, um, we use the Trello board. Trello? Okay. Trello board, WhatsApp communication, 800 a month. Um, we'll have code in GitHub. Um, but in terms of servers, you guys are comfortable with AWS, Heroku, any, you know, what the, uh, you know, where, where do you guys launch your stuff on? Yeah, mostly Heroku. Heroku, AWS, I've got a Heroku account that we can use, um, I've been paying for. Um, do you prefer AWS or? Uh, I don't have any preference, but I mean, I am, I currently have a Heroku server up. I mean, Heroku account, and I just add, I'll, you know, whatever we build, I can just add to that for now. I mean, I'm already getting, I'm getting, I'm getting built monthly anyway, so no need to, um, uh, build, you know, for like static assets, where do you guys store static assets? Come again? Where do you guys like store like the static assets of a, like, if, you know, for like a site or something, where do you store the static stuff? Um, thus far, mostly we've used Firebase, Firebase, Heroku, anything. To store the static files? Yeah. Is that a CD? Do they have CDN or something? Or Yeah, Firebase CDN. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Um, the only CDN I've always used is S3. But, um, no, this sounds perfect, man. Like, one, I mean, that's, y'all, y'all are on the stack that I prefer because I even wonder, I'll be doing code reviews myself on whatever work y'all do. Um, and I also know React. And so I can see, I'll be able to maintain the, or make sure that the quality standard is, is there. Um, I know, I don't know if y'all have past clients of how technical they're not or are, are but I'm, you know, um, I re- I'm trying to get my away from the technical or from the dev side of stuff. I want to be more on the front and be handling sales and handling all that type of stuff. So, um, but I will be, reviewing that just to make sure things are good so um for payment how do you guys so for the two, every two so at the end of the spring we make sure everything is good if it looks good pay, payment is sent out uh how does that look um is that an invoice or how, how, how do you how do I take payment yeah so for payment um we use there's a platform known as lemon squeezy it's similar yeah. to strike yeah, it. so we just send out a payment link and this payment link um you would put in your card details or your apple pay paypal mm-hmm. stuff like that then it would charge you bi-weekly so it's up to you you can decide to like cancel or pause at any time if you want if um, you're satisfied with the work for the time or if you don't want to continue working with us it's all up to you you can pause payments aside from that it's more like automatic charging yeah, as long as things are good, going good. Okay. Um, how, how soon can you guys start on like uh, projects, discovering and all that um, and, 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 and getting things going on, on um, starting on the work? Um, getting us started as soon as we receive, we like um, a sort of 50% upfront payment. That sort of shows the seriousness of the clients so that we can get stuff with them. Um, but even before that, we can start setting up a Trello board. Um, we can get connected on WhatsApp and then we can start setting up the projects 
you can send us the GitHub repo, stuff like that, so that we can get set up. Okay. But no, no I'm, I mean, I'm 100% serious. I mean, I'm not going to uh, ship anything. I mean, once if we get this going and everything is legit, like, you know, you're presenting, uh, I see this being a long, fruitful um, re relationship. So in terms of the 50% up front, um, at being a being that I've done project based uh, consulting kind of agency kind of stuff that you guys got do going on charging that up front I understand like how certain projects are broken down into milestones and then you kind of get a prepayment to get things going but how do I uh, make sure that um, everything is you know legit and i mean everything sounds great but how do i make sure everything is good to protect on my end because i'm good to go and i'm actually i've been needing i've been interviewing and looking at technical vas or different teams on fiverr and upwork and stuff trying to see who's the right fit for what i need so i've been needing i need someone yesterday and so i'm, I'm ready to get going um but i don't want to be overzealous you know so um like how, how do I verify that? I would rather just you know let's do this. And after the two weeks, you know, if, you know, once you get that gig going, the first payment will be made. I mean, you guys don't have to, you know, obviously nothing will be done in two weeks. So it's not like I'm going to jump on after two weeks, right? I'm I'm 100 percent good to go, and I, I want to. This is going to be a multi month. I mean, I see I see this almost being a permanent service That's for funny. me, I, honestly. Um, because I want to rather grow this, these, I say the end goal for me, like, you know, you guys know how does any hacker life works. Like the end goal is I want to cut off all this, this work with clients that I do my, um, my personal work, right? My two jobs and my contract work that I do remotely is that I don't have enough brand. I would rather focus on this stuff full time and have y'all as a full time team for me to do it like that, right? So in order to do that, you know, I got to make sure I have a solid team, and um, and I'm ready to get going. So I just I just want to make sure you know that we are on the same page on like what the what the mission is for for my two companies that you guys are going to help be helping me uh, launch. So one's pretty simple; the other one is going to be like a product, uh, you know, a developed product that actually, you know, it's going to have an AI element to it. Uh, are you familiar with um, RAG, RAG? Um, RAG, um, no. That stands for, but it's um, it's pretty much, it's not using LangChain, it's, it's taking, do you know, do you know a vector? Are you, are you guys familiar with vector databases? Like Pinecon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like pretty much taking, I'll, you know, we'll discuss it on project discovery and stuff, but it's pretty much being able to kind of develop it like an internal chat GBT, um for a company based on and being trained on like their data. Um, uh, oh, okay. I'd be like their confluence docs or something, right? And like turning that, that, that data into a vector, a vector data, putting it into, ve turning into vector data points in the vector database and then using that, pairing that with uh, the LLM model to then be able to, you know, give simple queries, like, you know, based on the company's data, like, you know, how do you do X, Y, Z based on the, that data, right? So that is kind of, it's called an RAG model, but like, and that's gonna be like a long-term development project, right? So like, um, but you know, there's gonna be some simpler things before that to get going. But let me let me stop rambling. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do all that in our, in our next meeting. I'm, I'm good to go. I wanna, I wanna go ahead and move forward. Um, I don't, I don't know what that next process looks like. Just, uh, you know, you have my email. Um, I, I do got to get, I have a meeting coming up soon at the top of the hour. So let's, let's get going. Um, I, I, I'm ready to move forward. Well, actually, hold uh, on. show me, um, uh, can you, can you show me an example of any product that you guys worked on? If you have, to have access to it, this is my last <laughs> check before we hop off. Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple here. Okay. So let me just share the screen, I guess. Um, post disable participant screen sharing. Um, yeah. Who is the host? Um, um let me approve that. Thank you.
на науке. I think that was the wrong button. Yeah, um, try again. No, okay. Uh, sure. Mm. Mm. All right, can you see? Yeah. Is this one? Yeah, this is one of them. I don't know how to. Yeah. I designed all this? Yeah, so we designed all this. This is Font Snatcher. This okay. was an extension that we made. Um, basically, it allows you to check up on the fonts of any website. So this is it right here. You activate it with Control B. Then you can check out the name of um, any font on any website. I developed all this. It's UI and everything. Yeah, the UI functionality, everything. Nice. Yeah. So this is also summary. After this text, are you already done some uh, AI startup or AI tools for some companies? Right, where, where is this guy's base? Yeah, so for this, this is more like a personal project of us. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, this is AI summarization. All right, all right. I can just link the articles into websites. Okay. I mean, so y'all pretty much taking the article URL, you're taking, I'm just, let me just assume what's happening. Y'all taking the article, uh, make a back end, I don't know, let's say Python, make a request that get to the, um, to the article, grab the, um, the contents, paste, pass it to GPT to do the summarization and return that output. Is that what y'all doing? Yeah, that's it. Okay. What if the uh, article is, uh, power? Paywalled. Yeah, we'll get everything. Even if it's paywalled, since like the article itself is still found on the website. So just take the URL, then we'll be able to summarize any article for you. So are you telling me that for for our, for websites that have paywalls up, you can just still access the content uh the the paywall actually happens in the browser, huh? It doesn't happen if it's like a bot that asks for the page. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So essentially, it's not really stealing. It's just like it's reading. Yeah. So it reads the context of the text of the article there. Then it just takes out like the most, most important, important parts, parts, summarizes it, and yeah. gives it to you. So yeah, I think it's really being stolen. Then we have Vox AI. What is this? Is this Shaw's tool? Yeah, it is also one of us. Oh, so y'all also entrepreneurial. Very much so, trying to get a bunch of yeah, this is dope. Y'all design this? Yeah. Nice. How, how are y'all's products doing? With this one? I said, how are y'all's products, how are projects doing? Something like these, these two that y'all have launched. Oh, yeah, so for this we're planning on selling this soon S selling it yeah oh, so y'all build and sell y'all not trying to build to like build it like build the build the user base yeah so for some of them we get a couple users on it um we see if like we can monetize it get their money from it 
Um, if not, we just add up the user base, then we find a way to sell it, mostly using micro acquiring places like that. Mm. The best AI tool for. I, I'm not okay. I get it's the AI tool. But what is it doing? Um, it has like different things you can do with it. So image generation, video generation, code generation, music generation. So like one product with different, should I say, sub products. That's what it does. Mm. Okay. So, it was good. Now, if I uh, now you guys are look, you guys look like you guys make some cool, cool stuff. And you guys know what y'all are doing. So um, for my, my stuff, stuff uh, working if I work with you guys, um, do we? I mean, you know, we're gonna need to sign. Um, uh, I want to say NDA or NDA or non compete. Have you guys ever done that in the past? Just to make sure that you guys don't go and build the, the exact same thing go compete with 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 what i'm with what i build a launch is that something i've done in the past well an nda no we've never had to um for us it's not too much of a problem but if that's what you want we don't mind it sort of makes sense yeah because i mean i can't just you know have y'all build something out and then y'all can just go Copy the same thing and then sell it to someone else, right? So this is something that I would want to do before we get started. Um, yeah, I get you. Right. All right. Um, yeah, I'm good to go. So yeah, send me an email with the next steps and let's let's get moving. All right, sure. Um, so yeah, me and Abiola will talk a little bit. Um, get some things ready. Then we'll send it to you. Okay. I think we have your email. Yeah, it's the one I scheduled yeah. for the meeting. Chris at Jenny Solutions. Yes. That's actually one of the things that, that's actually probably one of the first things. This is just a basic, this is any custom development. I need the site for Genoa Solutions. I need like a fresh site put up, uh, ASAP, custom design. I'll give one that. I'll give a, um, an example site that I would like it to kind of uh, as inspiration, not not copy it, but inspiration for it. Uh, that is just strictly for um, the consulting business, which doesn't really need anything custom. It's like the parent company of what we're going to be doing in terms of development of these other projects, which will be under GMI Solutions. So um, that would be one of the first first things we do. But in terms of the more complex projects I, ha I have, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll discuss that more in, in meetings. Um, are you guys fine with meetings with Google Google Meet instead of Zoom? Yeah, we tend to prefer that actually. Uh, yeah, I prefer Google Meet as well. All right. Yeah, just go ahead and send me the details. I got I got a meeting coming up. All right. Sure. All right, it's nice meeting you guys. Yeah, same to you. Um, thanks for your time. Yeah.